Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so we have the Magician, and this is Mercury energy, Gemini, Virgo energy. So this is an energy of someone who's taking back their power, taking control of a situation, manifesting their desired outcome. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Water energy, the High Priestess, Pisces energy, and the Ten of Cups, Water energy. It looks like you are attracting a relationship here with the Ten of Cups. There's something about connecting with someone who wants to be with you, someone who wants to be in a long-term, emotionally fulfilling relationship. You're both manifesting each other in different ways. It looks like someone here is manifesting using the feminine energy while someone is manifesting using that more masculine energy. Like this person who's embodying the magician energy could be manifesting from a place of taking action somehow, like trying to impress the other person, making moves, initiating, um, you know, wooing the other person. Well, this one is more of a passive energy, um, attracting, allowing, receiving, you know, that kind of energy. But it looks like you guys are coming together and you're having a very emotionally fulfilling connection. Um, this is someone you could be in a long lasting, successful relationship with. There's a lot of happiness here. There's emotional fulfillment. So this is a card of like your manifestation coming to fruition. So so the person you want wants you and it looks like you guys are coming into union so let's clarify these cards taurus Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So there's definitely love here, and also an intuitive spiritual connection. You and this person are emotionally connected, emotionally um, attached somehow. There's a lot of empathy here and care towards each other. So let's see. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy, and the Two of Swords, Air Energy. So there could have been some sort of blockage. Um, preventing you and this person from moving forward. And this could be that there was confusion. Someone was indecisive. Um, they could have had a choice between two or um, they could have been in two minds about the situation. But it looks like there there's this feeling of an end to that indecision because with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like a choice has been made and something is finally happening. You're seeing some sort of change here that is leading to fulfillment. Um, someone is confident about their decision here. Yeah, they're able to allow this to happen. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So someone is sure of what they want now. There's this feeling of overcoming that two of swords energy, which is indecision and uh, fear or analysis, paralysis, whatever was keeping you guys stuck, restrictions, blockages. These are being removed because it's finally time for this connection. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Taurus.
Okay, we have religious factors. Your love life is is a, is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you guys do have a spiritual connection here. There could even be um, something here about connecting on a spiritual level. Um, also forgiveness with this card. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have forget me nots, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen, and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so someone really wants you, someone is trying to manifest you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, we have surrender stubbornness if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really really good day taurus bye taurus